when you work as a ladder assist, you're gaining a lot of valuable experience. Various types of roof, you got your rolled roof down here, your laminated shingles here. So you're just learning a lot when you work as a ladder assist. Are you not afraid of heights? Reasonably physically fit? Do you like to travel? Looking to make a little extra cash? What about a lot of extra cash? Have you ever heard of ladder assist? In this video, Lyle Morris, intrepid ladder assister, talks about the job, the gear, and the benefits of this super cool, super specialized job in the insurance restoration world. Starting now. You're watching the Property IA Show. This video is sponsored by Kaplik. Are you an insurance adjuster? Then you need to have insurance adjuster. Get the insurance for adjuster's guide right now at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by the independent adjusting firm, CCMS and Associates. This fast growing and innovative firm is expanding into many new states even as we speak. Send an email over to them at careers at ccmsclaims.com and don't forget to attach your resume. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. You know, there are so many careers either directly in claims or that are peripheral to insurance that it kind of boggles the mind. And ladder assist is no exception. So what you're saying is I can scope roofs without being a roofer or an adjuster? Let's let Mr. Morris explain. There's three words. Experience, experience, experience. We've got like two churches a day and then like three residential houses or two, two residential houses, so four total. You know, you get caught out to stuff like this where you're on top of a church and you've got to inspect it, um, figure out where these leaks are coming from. When you work as a ladder assist, you're gaining a lot of valuable experience. Various types of roof. You got your rolled roof down here your laminated shingles here. So you're just learning a lot when you work as a ladder assist. This church here is a uh, two story and it wasn't that steep, it was like a 512. Uh, so not too bad as far as steepness goes, but it was two story. So it's one of those things where when they call you out, you've got to get on it because that's your job. You have like way less paperwork than if you're an IA. You just send your pictures in and a report most of the time and boom, it's done. Another thing is, is if you're not working, like last year it was really slow for us. And uh, so you're not making money, but I had a lot of time to spend with my family. So it's, it's, it's a win-win almost. You're either working and making money, or you're not working and you're spending time with your family. You know, a lot of, a lot of time by yourself driving. So if you're a really, really social person and you've got to, you like being around a lot of people all the time, uh, it might drive you a little bit crazy, but man, I think this, this is the way to get your foot in the door or foot on the roof, should I say, to get into uh, being a property adjuster because the money's not as good. It's, not, it's probably not anywhere close to what you get paid as an IA, but um, it is decent and you can, uh, I think it's the way in. It's better than just getting your name on a roster and waiting. You can get your name on some rosters and then start working. There's a lot of driving involved sometimes. Sometimes you got a really good schedule and you're at home uh, by four o'clock. You know, you work for yourself technically, so you know, I guess you could take some time off if you wanted. We're super busy right now, so I'm not gonna do that to the company I work for. But, um, you know, you can say, hey, I'd like to take a week off and, you know, it's pretty lenient, so. Stay safe, you guys. Um, it's crazy times out here. You know, we've got our mask, it's crazy rules, but um, I hope you guys are staying safe and just be grateful. I know this, this it's, it's a weird time and um, there's a lot to, to look at and say, man, this is messed up and that's messed up, but there's also a lot to be grateful for, especially if everybody in your family is safe and healthy. Gratitude is the key to to happiness and success. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, gear. So this is my setup here. I drive a, a 2007 Toyota Camry. Um, it's got, I've put about 50,000 miles in the past year and a half, which is really not a whole lot for this type of work, but you might put 40, 50,000 miles a year. So you, you don't want to drive a brand new vehicle. Um, I can fill this up for like especially the gas right now, 25 bucks, something like that, and it lasts me all day, so. Great gas mileage, really economic, uh, makes good economic sense to drive something like this. Some of the essentials for 
inspecting a roof um, I'm gonna talk about now and so cougar paws okay these are uh, Psalm 1833 might not be essential to you but it's essential to me um, these let you grip the roof especially uh, shingle roofs because they've got the boot actually has velcro right there and these are kind of wet from yesterday but uh, these pads are removable and these pads actually let you um, grip the shingles really really well to the point of where um, I feel comfortable walking on a 10-12 pitch which is pretty dang steep sometimes I go to the roof and I'm like man I can't believe I was on that just as comfortable as I was um, so obviously safety first you want to this, these are the most important pieces of equipment that I have because without them um, you know it nothing else matters if you're sliding off a roof in your tennis shoes then it's not a good day so obviously you want a ladder uh, this is a 25 or 24 foot um, Werner extend the Werner equalizer yeah it's they it got the legs that stabilize so it's a really good ladder a lot of people probably don't get into this because they think they have to have a truck you can buy a this is a Rolla rack I bought that for like I think this this whole set was hundred and fifty dollars if a roof is really steep you're gonna want a rope tie it off to a tree tie it off to something very sturdy um, I guess ab if you absolutely had to you kept your keys in your your pocket you could tie it off to the wheel of your car I've done that before I don't necessarily recommend it I do have a rope you know a harness system that I use uh, with a it, with an inch rope and you know the whole setup big uh, essential I would I would say some people don't use gloves I do cut the fingers out of them the thumb and the, the forefinger just so I can use my phone use you know fill of the shingles and stuff like that when the when the roof's 130 degrees when it's 97 on the ground it's 130 degrees up there you'll get blisters from the shingles so you definitely want to get a good pair of gloves this is a clip box I guess you could just use a clipboard I like the box because I can keep all my my graph paper in here my pencils extra lead for my pencils erasers um, pins rulers straight edge I got some 3m velcro strips that you use to like attach uh, picture frames to the wall and stuff and I just I just attached them here so it's really cool. these are a uh, mala chalk I've, I've never I've only seen one other person use this type of chalk these boxes this box of nine you can get from Ikea for literally two dollars plus shipping so I order like 20 bucks at a time something like that this chalk doesn't get everywhere it's got this coating on it normal normal chalk like this stuff right here, this is that Cray Crayola type, you know, look, you can already see it on my hands. It gets everywhere, it'll get all over your pants. It really gets everywhere, it gets all over your hand. This doesn't, it's got that hard coating. This lasts a lot longer. This is the Hague, and Hague uh, shingle gauge. You see a three tab on this side and you slide the shingle in here and it tells you what kind of shingle it is. You got laminated on this side. It's a good piece of uh, equipment. I guess technically you might not have to have this, but it's just good to slide it on there, snap a picture. It lets everybody know, anybody who might review the, the file, what kind of shingle is on the roof. You're gonna want uh, a good tape measure. I always keep two with me just in case one breaks because sometimes the ends do break off. This is a Stanley Fat Max. They're a little bit expensive, but this is uh, the best one that I've found. 35 foot, it gets the job done for 99% of the jobs that I do. The mag grip uh, holder, I got this at Home Depot. This is uh, obviously just a little holder for the for the tape measure. Um, I had it falling off my belt before, and I just you know you don't want to hit a car or hit somebody, a kid's playing in the yard, the tape measure rolling off the roof and doing all that. So uh, it's best to just keep this. It's got this little loop that snaps over it right here. It keeps it from falling out. It's just I like it. laser measure. It's like a laser tape measure. So you just put this against the wall, hit the button. The laser points to the other wall and it tells you the distance in between. All right, I think that's all the essential gear that we need. Okay, that's it for me. Adjuster TV is the premier video resource for the independent adjusting community, and we are committed to bringing you the best, most up-to-date, and entertaining programming to help you learn what insurance adjusting is all about, if it's right for you, and how to build a rewarding career as a claims professional. A career where you can help people in a time of crisis and earn a great living. For much more information about becoming a successful property or auto claims IA, 
including many more videos, free tutorials and webinars, the best gear and software for claims, and industry news and IA weather reports, head on over to adjustertv.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. <laughs>